trip from Capitana Marina and Dominican Republic and headed to Flying Fish Marina in Long Island. Got about 490 nautical miles to go. We're gonna kind of fish our way out of here today and then chug, chug, chug our way to the Bahamas. Hope to be there in a couple days. So here we go. Hopefully some blue marlins in our future today. Alright, well I was inside recording a podcast. <laughs> and then I hear the boat stop. And then what happened, Chris? Double header. Most likely yellowfin tuna. <laughs> Boom! Game on. Jacob hooked up. Dave hooked up. <laughs> Nice work, guys. Go ahead. Oh. Okay. Oh. Still okay, bud? There we go. Show them, Cap, what you got here. Woo! Tagging the fish. Here we go. All right. <laughs> I open that door? <laughs> yep, I got it. Got it. Go ahead, buddy. Here, buddy. After about a 500 mile jog from Dominican Republic to Long Island, Bahamas, we made it and did a quick turnaround, got everything set up, left Flying Fish Marina, and put in two weeks of traveling through the Bahamas and fishing. Awesome as always. So here it is. Well, the boys are picking up the anchor. Second night out here, crooked. Yesterday, or two days ago, we fished Diana Bank. That was our first day. Mahi, some, uh, some groupers, and I had Blue Marlin sky out, decided to pull a lure on a short rigger, just for fun, mistake. <laughs> sky out on a lure, awesome fight, went away. And then that was about it, a couple skipjacks, and not, not the normal fishing that we're used to, it was a full moon, so I didn't know what to expect. Usually full moon's a little tricky fishing most time, but uh, Yesterday we ran down to Castle Rock and had a blue marlin again on a short rigger floor. Zip some drag and then come back up on it and go away. That was it. Didn't see anything else there. Fished a few more hours. Picked up and ran all the way up to Bird Rock. And had a dolphin bite. Didn't even get that. Been having some bad luck. And then uh, end of the day on the blue squid chain with a... Uh, Express with a Molecraft macro on it because the Barracudas were tearing us up. We had to switch it up, had a Blue Marlin come up, chase that all the way up to the boat. Never switched, tried to kind of eat the long rigger and then went away. And that's been our two days. It's been a tough start here.
careful, Harry. Careful. We finished our time in the Bahamas fishing the Walker's K Invitational, which is always an awesome tournament. Loved it last year. We had a great time. We caught the winning tuna. And this year, I got the fish on my boat. We caught a few billfish and a few mahi, and one of them turned out to be a 51.6 pounder that was good for over $40,000, which is a pretty awesome little bonus. <laughs> And then we headed on out of there, and of course, <laughs> you know, we get 10 miles out of Walkers and get jumped by a blue marlin on the way home. So check out that footage here. Well, we're not even 10, 15 miles out of Walkers. Saw some birds, fired out the uh, <laughs> tuna flare, the Ron Z. Thinking I was gonna quick tuna to eat, and boom, big blue marlin. And we're hooked up. I love it. That was some crazy shit. Here we go. Dude! <laughs> Fuck you! Let's go! <laughs> Roger. Yeah, buddy. Fuck yeah, Rick. Dude, that's pretty nice. That is a nice one, dude. Damn. Good 